Right, the, the lighting isn't very good in here, I'm afraid, but I'll just show you this uh, magnetic pulser thing. So there's a little um, coil and magnet I've 3D printed. It's on the uh, tail at the moment of one of those Aldi gliders. So it's wired round to that's a little H bridge there. Uh, behind it, behind this wire, there's a little AT tiny 85 there that's doing the decoding. And we've got a receiver. Uh, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see the whole thing. So we've got a transmitter to send it a signal. So if I plug a battery, we're just running this on a 4.8 volt battery here, powering everything, the receiver and the uh, uh, flapper thing. So if I, uh, what I've got on the transmitter is the rudder works the rudder. This, this pot, this side, is the sort of power. Now that's 100% power. That's off, and then that's like 50% power. And at the moment, for test purposes, this other pot sets the speed. So that's like very slow, obviously, up to probably too fast. So if I set it at the moment on lots of power and quite slow. I'll just zoom in a bit on the tail. Now you'll see now how if we go left it spends its uh, all of its time over to the left or almost all. And that's right. That's back in the middle. If I get it pulsing a bit faster same sort of thing. And as you can see, it's, it's probably rather too powerful at the moment, making the whole plane shake. But uh, you can turn it down a bit, and that will probably still give you adequate control while saving a bit of power. And that's it, really. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't have the pots on a real plane. You might have a switch to switch the pulsing on and off to some preset level. And you just choose an appropriate speed. I think these magnetic things used to go quite fast, but I don't really know. Anyway, if anyone's interested in the uh, 3D print for the coil and magnet holder and stuff, uh, I can uh, upload that as well, I suppose. I say, sorry for the poor lighting conditions. And uh, thanks for watching.